Let's take a look at how you can use Power BI Sentinel to keep track of your Power BI activity. Here we can see all of the workspaces being monitored by Sentinel. If we choose a workspace, we can choose a particular report, and it'll give us a list of all of the historical changes in that report. We can then choose any two versions of this report and run a comparison against them. It'll then scan the metadata for those reports and give us a high-level summary of what's happened. We've got a visual that's changed its z-order. We've got a visual that's had its height and width changed from this to this. Uh, this particular visual's had its type changed from a gauge chart uh, to a cluster, cluster column chart. We've got a change to a visual level filter, a change to one power query and one measure. Well, let's have a look at the details behind this. We can look into this, have a look at all the yellow triangles, and we can clearly see that this total sales measure used to be sales amount plus tax and freight. It's now sales amount plus tax amount. So clearly this freight is the change there. So it makes it very easy to see what has changed in your environment to help with disaster recovery. As well as this, it also tracks who has made these changes. There's a full audit log that's exported to your own Azure SQL database that you can then query, you can run Power BI against it, etc. This is a Power BI report that we provide as a starting point template, and all of the operations that you can do in Power BI are listed here. So here we've got who's created data sets. On this date and time, that data set in that workspace, this user from that IP address. Let's look at edit data sets. This is what happens when someone changes a report. So this may be when someone's broken it, etc., or we've got a uh, deleting data set, deleting reports, etc. But also on top of this, one of the operations is view report. So you can see who's consumed content. If we filter by this, we can see who's viewed which reports from which workspaces, when and from where. Now we can then do things with this. We can make this, this view a little bit more interesting and plot it on a chart so you can see adoption over a period of time. Now Sentinel tracks the full history for you. There's no archiving, there's no limitations. So you can build up a full picture of what's happening in your environment over a long period of time. And then of course you can look at a particular user and see which reports they've been accessing, how many times and from which workspaces. And you can even track personal workspaces. Who has accessed reports in my personal workspace? Well, these are the reports, these are how many report views, and I'm the only user that's, um, that's viewed those. And of course, all of this is in your own Azure SQL database, so you can then write your own reports and analysis over the top of it to really get the most out of, uh, out of understanding your Power BI environment.